Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and if your two-handed backhand feels a lot more like a shield than it does a sword, then you're gonna love this video because I'm gonna show you how to fix your two-handed backhand forever in five minutes or less. But before we get started, if you like simple, straight-to-the-point tutorials that teach you how to become a better tennis player step-by-step, -step, then hit the old subscribe button right now, hit that bell notifications so you get notified of future videos when I release them. Let's get started. Okay, the good old two-handed backhand. I have a lot of history with this shot. I played for the longest time with one hand and my friend Josh just kept whooping me on his fast serve. I couldn't get my return on it. So I switched to two hands. It was really unnatural at first and then I started to learn some of the things that I'm gonna discuss with you in this video. Completely changed the game, okay? So we're gonna break this down step by step. I'm demonstrating on the iCoach here, fantastic tool. I'll link to a discount code down below if you feel like picking one up for yourself. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta know where our contact point is because everything in tennis on every shot begins and ends with contact. And what you're gonna notice from a few different angles here is I've got my racket face centered on the ball right on the sweet spot. My left arm, my non-dominant hand is going along a 45 degree angle to the baseline. Okay, that's very important for maximum power, disguise and all of that good stuff. The second thing, is my head is still, it's focused on the point of contact, I'm nice and balanced, and I've got my arms extended away from my body, okay? I'm not in here like the T-Rex, got nice extension, very important. Okay, now from contact, all I'm gonna do is rotate my hips away from the ball, pulling the racket back, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your front side here. Racket tip is going straight back to the back fence, butt cap's going straight towards the ball, weight's on the back foot here, and all I'm gonna do is push off my back foot, take a little bit of a stride forward, and rotate my hips to pull the racket through, okay, just like that. Now notice that the hands, if you look at it from a different angle, are just going along for the ride. I'm not pulling them together even, I'm letting my hips come through first, and I'm gonna let my hands lag behind and pull that racket through. Okay, now as far as the finish goes, it really depends on the type of shot that you're hitting but I really like to practice the Landsdorp fundamentals to get depth and penetration into the court. And to do that, all we do is as we rotate out, we really focus on extending our hitting arms through out to the contact point, okay? Just like that, a little bit of a reach out to contact. If I wanted to come over the ball with some top spin, I might come off the ball a little bit more, do a little spinner like that. By the way, how do you like that overgrip? Pretty cool, right? A little blue in there. Turn a grip, it's a fantastic grip. I'll link to it down below. I think Amazon's having a special on them right now, so you can check that out if you like. Step three is we're gonna go and find the power position, okay? Doesn't that just sound cool? So if we're starting from a ready position, I'm just turning my hips away from the ball, turning my shoulders even past the hips. Racket tip is going straight up to the sky. Got my right wrist cocked here. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot of tension in my right side that's gonna ultimately be released into the ball. From here, all I'm gonna do is drop my racket head down into the slot, which we found in step two. Still got the weight on the back foot, and then I'm gonna pull forward through to contact and a nice balanced finish. So let's see that again from a different angle. You can see the power position. Racket tip is up. Okay, we're gonna drop it down into the slot and pull forward through to contact, and that's all there is to it. Now realize you're probably gonna have to watch this about a hundred times to get all the little details, and it'll probably take you some time to get those, but once you have it, you're gonna be able to practice this in about five minutes and really hardwire all of those great fundamentals into your backhand. Okay, moving right along here, now we go to the ready position, okay? So ready position, we got our feet a little bit wider than our shoulders, rackets out in front, nice loose grip here take a little split step and then we begin our unit turn okay so we keep our hands in front the hips start to pull away creating tension in the core then we're gonna line up our shot power position right here racket tips going up weights on the back foot we take that little stride forward as we drop it into the slot and then come through so let's look at that from a different angle little uh, split step line up our shot power position drop it into the slot and then a nice balanced finish. Now remember, and this is a critical point, that the hips are always gonna be pulling the racket through, okay? I'm gonna say this about a million times probably in all of my videos. 
you always want to feel that the racket and your arms are going along for the ride and the hips are just pulling them through. All right, so moving right along, now we're gonna work on rhythms, okay, and hitting the ball in rhythm. So much of tennis is about getting into a nice rhythm, okay? And we can do that by starting in a ready position. And as I'm hitting this ball, I'm always gonna hit it on three. Okay, so take a look at what that looks like. Split step, power position, slot. And from here, we're focusing on making our stroke nice and smooth and hitting the ball on three. Now the visual that I really like here is a figure eight. And if you look at my hands from a couple different angles, you're gonna see that my hands kind of trace along this figure eight shape. And again, I'm staying nice and soft in my hands, staying really relaxed and really letting the hips do most of the work. Now notice as I'm doing this that the racket head is dropping and going right into the hit. What I'm not doing is letting the racket get stuck in this slot position. It's going from the power position straight through into contact. Okay, the last step is to get some footwork going, okay? Now this is arbitrary. It's gonna be based on the type of ball that you're receiving, but we wanna get used to moving our feet in between shots unless you pay your partner to hit the ball to you. But for now, let's focus on getting our feet into position before we hit, okay? Here we go. Hit, move a couple feet, get set up, hit it again. And each time what we're doing is we're making sure that we get that back foot down so that we can take that little bit of a stride into the ball and whack it. Whack being a technical term. And there you have it, that's all there is to hitting a really solid two-handed backhand. First thing you wanna do is visualize this, okay? And that's what we're doing right now by watching this video. The second thing is you wanna practice your shadow swings, okay, so that you really have the movements. Go out and get either an eye coach or take a ball and hit it up against the wall and practice these steps one by one and you will have a really technically sound two-handed backhand. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. Let me know what videos you'd like me to cover and I'd be happy to do those in the days and weeks ahead. Also, don't forget to share this video with a friend who you know needs help with the two-handed backhand. Click that subscribe button, that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.